This video gives an installation overview of brackets used with Extreme Network's Indoor Access Points, or APs. This video contains the most commonly used brackets. Different APs are shown in this video. Refer to the AP Installation Guide for complete instructions for your specific AP. The mounting brackets covered by this video are a drop or suspended ceiling multi-T-bar, a beam adapter for the multi-T-bar, a combination wall, junction, or gang box, a main plate for walls, plus its adapters for 15 16 inch wide T-bars, beams, and an extension that allows the AP to be easily attached to solid surfaces. To save time, this table shows the video time you can jump to for the bracket you are interested in. It is recommended that when viewing an adapter, the attachment bracket or main plate also be viewed. Not all APs accept all brackets, so use the brackets that are applicable to your AP. The installer must sometimes provide a pencil or pen, a drill bit, the size depends on the screws or anchors used and what they are attached to, a drill, a Phillips screwdriver, a torque Phillips screwdriver, a wrench, and with some APs certain hardware such as screws or wall anchors. The multi t bar bracket will accommodate most 9 16 inch wide 15 16 inch wide and 1.5 inch wide T-bars. It can also be used with all flat ceiling tiles or most ceiling tiles that protrude. The multi T-bar bracket can also accommodate a wide range of T-bar thicknesses. The multi T-bar does not require any tools by itself, but the installer may need tools for cutting the ceiling tiles if desired. The first step is to move the ceiling tiles out of the way where one wants to put the AP. Open the T-bar by slightly lifting the locking latch and sliding it open so the distance between the holding parts is larger than the T-bar. The bracket stationary end is hooked onto a T-bar rail and using your other hand, the movable part of the bracket is squeezed together until it holds both sides of the T-bar and locks as indicated by the clicking sound. The AP has two rails for the multi T bar bracket. The rails flare out at the end of insertion of the AP onto the multi T bar bracket. Slide the AP onto the bracket until the bracket's AP locking tab snaps into place. There is also a wider section of the bracket so it can't be put on too far. The AP should now be securely fastened to the T bar. While still holding the AP, rock it back and forth to verify it is a good attachment. There is a bracket for attaching an AP to walls and junction or gang boxes. It uses keyholes to attach to the AP, has an AP locking feature, and varies in possible use orientation for a wall in most boxes. The individual AP installation guides will tell you which orientation to use. The orientations are molded into the bracket along with the hole letters to use for wall mounting. For a wall or solid surface attachment, use the bracket as a template and select the two A or B marked holes and mark their centers after determining the proper AP orientation. The two used should be on opposite sides of the large center cutout. Drill the holes with the appropriate drill bit sizes for the anchors or screws to be used. Insert anchors if appropriate. The screw in type is recommended. Then, attach the bracket with two screws into the holes or anchors. Torque the screws to 7 inch pounds. Line up the AP's large keyholes with the keyhole posts on the bracket. Insert the posts into the keyholes and slide the AP either down or to the left. Wiggle the AP slightly to make sure it is attached securely. Next, we will show the bracket being attached to a junction or gang box. If applicable, remove the wall plate from the box and any ethernet cables from the wall plate. 
With the bracket in the correct orientation, find two holes that line up with the screw holes in the box. The holes should be on opposite sides of the large central cut. Fasten the bracket to the box using the screws from the wall plate in the selected holes. Tighten the screws to 7 inch pounds. Lastly, attach the AP to the bracket as shown for the wall. Don't forget to make sure it is securely attached. Next, we will cover the indoor brackets for those APs provided with the main bracket. There are several metal adapters that can be attached to the main bracket. There are adapters for attaching to a 15 16 inch wide T-bar, beams, and for quick and easy attachment to solid surfaces. All of the adapters use a twisting motion to attach the adapter to the main bracket. The main bracket can be used on a wall or other solid surface. To use it for direct attachment to a surface, the bracket must be attached to the surface before it is attached to the AP. While any two holes may be used, the recommended two holes for attaching the AP to a solid surface are shown. Use screws and anchors if applicable to attach the main bracket to a wall. If anchors are used, we recommend using the screw in kind. Here is the bracket attached to a wall. To attach the bracket to the AP, align the feet to the four long holes so the locking tab will be engaged when the main bracket is inserted into the AP. Put the bracket's feet into the four long AP holes and push it so the locking tab engages. The locking tab requires that a fair amount of force be used to make sure that the AP is adequately secured. This is also much easier when using an adapter than for a direct wall mount. Next, we will show the adapter for a 15 16 inch wide T-bar. For attachment to a T-bar in the main bracket, only one of the parts in the box is needed. The first step is to attach it to the main bracket. Pull up on the PEM and while holding the PEM in the retracted position, slide the adapter tabs onto the main bracket tabs and rotate the adapter until the PEM holes line up. Push down on the PEM to lock the adapter onto the main bracket. If the adapter can be moved significantly, then the PEM is not in the locking position. Determine where the AP is to be installed and if necessary, cut the ceiling tiles for the cables. Then move the drop or suspended ceiling tiles out of the way. Slide the adapter onto the T-bar. The ceiling tiles will hold the adapter onto the T-bar, so make sure the AP does not fall while putting the tiles back in place. The next adapter is for attaching to a beam. It attaches with a twisting motion to the main bracket. Line up the bracket so it is at about a 45 degree angle to the main bracket and in between the raised tabs of the main bracket and on top of the angled locking tabs. Push down and twist until the locking tabs pop back up preventing the adapter from untwisting. Go to the beam and attach the beam clamp. Tighten the beam clamp to a torque of 55 inch pounds. Wiggle the AP to verify the AP is solidly attached to the beam. The next adapter is for easy and quick attachment to a solid surface. It attaches with the main bracket placement and a twisting motion similar to the beam adapter. Line up the bracket so it is at about a 45 degree angle to the main bracket and in between the raised tabs of the main bracket and on top of the angled locking tabs. The PEMS should not interfere with the main bracket. Push down and twist until the locking tabs pop back up preventing the adapter from untwisting. When done, Notice how the screw holes are past the AP for easy access. Use two screws and screw and type anchors if applicable to attach the AP on the surface. Refer to the installation guide for the functional setup for your specific AP.